Yes, brilliant. It's only a couple of cherry tomatoes. And there are some bean flowers now. But I am feeling proud. Gratification. Satisfied. Happy, joyous, celebratory. Because this successful garden design that is very rustic get it <laughs> rustic and here is the Oregon grape that started the transplants and cultivation that I had designed by laying down branches and sticks and leaves. And then letting the legumes grow in and other things and chop and drop mulching and weeding a little bit, not very much. And uh, bringing some fertigation, irrigation, some soil amendments a little bit. Not very much, all, uh, all natural, all amendments that I gathered myself, like at the beach. I don't think I added any products, except for maybe some down-to-earth fertilizer, perhaps. Some home compost. Mostly leaves and sticks, and then some chop and drop of the local fauna, mostly. And transplant some seedlings. Oh, and the secret to the success is some wizardry. Wizardry. Using urine. Diluted. These beans leaves were yellow and not growing very quickly during the drought. Same with the tomatoes weren't growing. And I was only bringing some irrigation. So I started diluting urine for symbiosis and to nourish the soil for the plants, which was successful. Yes. So, I am proud of this little garden that was also designed to block the lawnmower. So less mowing, more gardening, and now I will eat food from a successful design. These are ripe or almost ripe. But there are deer that graze here and they like these also. So I'm going to eat it. Um, I'm going to give it a rinse. Those hoses on. Salud. The color is great. There's a little bit of green stripe in it. Mostly red orange. Probably looks a little underripe. Great initial flavor. Definitely a little sour tart. Mm. Nice skin. Thick. Chewy. I had a 
Mm. Had good, uh, is it called meat? <laughs> Good vegetable material. Nice tomato ness on the inside. Thick. Mm. Nice aftertaste too. Success! <laughs> <laughs>